I'll be showing Dictate in Word for the Web. This is speech to text that allows me to voice type, and we've recently updated and improved dictation in Word. Now I'm in the free version of Word for the Web, and over on the right hand side on the home menu, you can see the Dictate button, and I'll click this. You can hear the little noise that indicates Dictate has started, and you can see down at the bottom, we've improved our user interface for dictation. And as I'm talking, you can see it dictate on the screen, period. If I want to move the dictation out of the way, I can drag and drop it. So here or here, or I can drag it over here and keep it out of the way. I can choose settings and you can see add voice commands, which we'll be doing automatically. You can automatically punctuate and you can change the language. We have many different languages we support for speech to text. And if you don't see your language here, check back because we're always adding new ones. I'll leave that. And if you want to get help, what type of commands we show and all the great help around words you can use, phrases, it's all in here, punctuation, editing, formatting. So you can experiment with all sorts of commands and I'll be showing some of them right now. Now I'll show some editing commands like delete. Review this document by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Delete. Next week. Period. New line. Now I'll show deleting an entire sentence by saying the words delete that. Be sure to review this document by the end of the week. Delete that. Next, I'm going to show some of the formatting commands that have been updated. Can you help me finish the project by next week? Question mark. Bold, next week. Underline, week. Italicize, project. Bold the entire sentence. So you can see I can do lots of formatting commands just by using my voice. We also support superscript, subscript, indent, decrease indent, and clear all formatting. So I'll show a couple of those. Here is an example I'll show of formatting. Indent. Strike through sentence. Another great feature is the ability to create lists. So I'm going to show some lists with bullets as well as numbers. Start list. Here is my first item. New line. Here is my second item. New line. Start numbered list. Who's on first? New line. What's on second? New line. I don't know who's on third. The other really nice capability that has been added is you can add comments directly into your document. Add comment. I'm not really sure about this part. And you can see on the right hand side it added a comment and it highlighted this part of the text. The last thing I'll talk about is just the ability to pause dictation or exit dictation or show help using your voice. So we'll turn this on again at the bottom. Show help. Pause dictation. Now I can do some talking and it's not going to be dictating while I talk. I've turned it back on. Now I'm going to say exit dictation. And it turns it off. So there you have it. This is the next generation of capabilities built into Microsoft Word's web dictation. And we're going to be improving and adding all sorts of comments in the future on the help side on the right. You can explore lots of other commands. I didn't cover everything today, but there are many other things you can do with dictation and talk with your voice to do voice typing. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.